Good morning, guys. So today, Mike and I are in the bathroom together because crazy times. We're getting ready to head off to Birmingham for the book signing, and because this little one's coming with us, she's having a bath or a shower. Are you not, Piggy Wig? She does not look very impressed. She doesn't like this floor very much, do you? But she's quite stinky, and I don't think people want to meet you when you're stinky, Pig. And you can't hide under my skirt. <laughs> so they won't find me. They won't find me under here. Come on, Piggy. You gotta have a bath sometime, stinky dog. Oh, Piggy, are you getting the shower? She's so unimpressed. You do look very cute when you're wet, Pig, though. So, we're on the road, and I'm not gonna lie, having a bit of a stressful morning, because not only is it raining, it's actually not raining that badly anymore, but we were trying to shoot an outfit picture outside, and it was chucking it down with rain. We then got into the car, and the traffic, um, there's like a bit of crash on the M6, so we're having to take an alternative route. So I'm worried that we're going to be late. And now the fuel light has come on the car as well. Piglet is still wet because she's got such thick fur. Her ears haven't dried yet, so she smells like wet dog. I have her on a towel and I've been like toweling her down, trying to dry her off a little bit so she doesn't stink. But all in all, today is a little bit stressful. Um, are we stopping for fuel? Uh, I'm slightly we'll see concerned. If we go past the I mean, I've got enough fuel to get us there. Okay, okay. Like just, I've got like three miles in the bank, so... Uh, Which means three miles. Well, three miles more than we're going? Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant you had three miles left. I was like, yeah. we're definitely not going to yeah, get there three miles. Mate. Yeah, we, we, we're not <laughs> Oh my god. And I haven't had any breakfast either. Well, maybe you can get some kind of a snack yet. I mean, rookie. That's all I can say right now. I can see the bull ring, guys. I think we're going to make it just in time. This is the latest we've been to a book signing. I think we're arriving like 10 minutes before it starts. I'm not a fan of it. It's been a little bit stressful. Piglet's a little bit stressed. She's so soft, though. I love it when we give her a bath. She literally turns into like silky, silky smooth fluff ball. Although every time I stroke her, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like bits of fluff coming off her. You're so fluffy. I've also got a spot pretty much up my nose. It's like in here and it is the most sore thing in the whole world. I've had them like in my nose before sure and they're exactly sore. I know everyone wants to hear, but these things happen. I'm going to talk about them. I've had one in my nose before and they're really sore. Um, right. Right. And, but this one is like on the tips, it's all swollen and red. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. <laughs> it's really sore anyway, and I keep having to put concealer on it because I keep rubbing it by accident. Rookie. It's so sore. Pig is having a great time on the loading road. She thinks she is queen of the road. The sun's actually come out, so we're gonna try and go and find somewhere to eat outside because obviously Piglet isn't allowed into most restaurants. The signing went really well. So nice, I met lots of lovely people and I actually got some gifts as well, which is amazing. I'm gonna go and open them. I have actually had a little peek in the top and there are some sausage dog items in there. So I will show you guys what they are later. Very exciting. So we're grabbing some lunch sitting in Bill's. I have got um, the kale salad with chicken on top. It actually looks really good. It's got nuts on it too and seeds. And Piggy is, I don't know where she's heading off to. Pig, where are you going? She was sitting back here, but she's got a water bowl big enough to swim in. It's actually pretty hot as well, it stopped raining. Mike's got some steak and chips, and we've got some flowers in a teapot. I love Bills. And I don't think I've ever been to Bills. This is where we are. You've never been to Bills before? I really like it. It's good. I'm gonna eat this now. I'm gonna cover it in Tabasco as well, because I've got the biggest bottle of Tabasco in the world. I love it when they bring these. I wanna go to like a wholesaler's and actually buy one of these for home. It would be good. We're on our way back to the car and Piglet's got really cocky and is now leading the way with her pink collar. So I wanted to show you my two favourite things that lovely subscribers gave me today at the signing. The first one is this set of socks from Hayley. And they've got sausages on. There's actually three sets. There's one with a big sausage. There's one with little sausages. And then there's one with hearts and then sausages on the ankles. So cute. She also wrote me a really really lovely letter that actually made me a bit tearful um, as well. So thank you so much, Hayley, for that. And then another subscriber, Joe, gave me this, which is actually her book. So she tweets me all the time. I didn't realize she's actually a best-selling author and she's written this book called The Trouble with Goats and Sheep. Um, and she's written a little note in the front as well. And she also wrote me a card. So that was really cool. And those two things totally made my day. So thank you, girls. I love it. I'm trying to edit yesterday's vlog right now and I've got the worst hiccups. I cannot... <laughs> stop hiccuping. I'm literally lying on the sofa like, stop. It's so annoying. Busted starting to film you. 
I was just gonna look at you guys, look at Piglet's little face. Fat. Mike's doing some work. Squidge has got the cone on over here. She's so not very... Out, she can actually still lick her back. She still can. She's very limber. What are we going to do with you, little one? The sock's going to have to go back on if you keep licking the holes. Hey, little cut paws. But she does have her matching pink collar to Piglet's one on because it's very girly and she likes it. Squidge is actually a really weird dog and she loves having collars on. Anything that's like attention on her, she loves it except for the cone. So I am just uploading yesterday's vlog to my vlog channel. And whilst I'm uploading it, I am watching a couple of YouTube videos and I discovered a new person that I like to watch on YouTube a couple of months ago and I've been following her for a while and I realized I haven't actually mentioned to you guys that I follow her and I wanted to mention it because it's so hard to find like new YouTubers now that I love to watch and I found one and I really like her. She's called Chase Amy and she looks like this. My camera will focus. Here are her videos. She does loads of videos on like luxury handbags and things like that. It's like a guilty pleasure watch for me. She's like Chanel, like this and that, and like top favorite bags, all that kind of stuff. And I love handbags, so I really like her videos. And I also realized recently she's been doing some more um, personal ones as well, like with her boyfriend and let me see. Yeah, like closet tour, things like that I love. Yeah, so I really like her. You guys should definitely check her out. So we just got back from dinner with Mike's family, who we haven't seen in ages. It was really nice to catch up with them, actually, because I feel like things have just been so busy recently that we've missed... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what this lampshade head's doing in the background. Oh, Squidgy. You're right under there. You're right in there. <laughs> sweet. Oh, Squooby. She's so sweet. Um... Yeah, the last few months have just been so busy, we haven't really had the chance to catch up with Mike's family. So it was really nice to go out for dinner with them. And we're now back, I'm in my PJs, and I've got this little one snuggling here. Squidge is uh, playing detective about the fact that there are dog treats in that bag. Although, Squidgy, I'm afraid with your lampshade head, you're not going to be able to fit your head in one of those bags, sadly. Oh. Should we give her one? We got some dog treats earlier, look, this is what she's smelling. Is that what you can smell? Oh, is it? Would you like one? Would you like one? These are so wrong. Has anyone ever given their dog one of these bacon things before? Because they actually smell and look like real bacon. They like smell pretty tasty. <laughs> Squid just uh, 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 You can have one, but you can't steal it from me. Stay. Stay. Give it on the sofa like that. That's horrific. There we go. It's alright. <laughs> We tried to give Piggy one of these earlier and she wouldn't eat it when we were in Birmingham so I feel like she probably will now because the other dogs want them. I'm going to give Treacle one. Piggy, you're not having a whole one because it's like the size of you. I'm going to break a bit off and give it to you. This is what you get. Yummy? Yeah? She's like, oh no, someone's going to steal it. And I also have a giant bottle of water because I'm feeling very dehydrated. Um, did you snaffle that already, Squidge? Yeah. You snaffled it already? Did you? Was it delicious? She looks so cute today. You do, you're so pretty, Squidge. You're so pretty. So I never finished my vlog last night because I totes fell asleep on the sofa. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We are off to Milton Keynes today. Ah! If Mike doesn't hit the car in front of us. Oh, um, so <laughs> We are off to Milton Keynes. So join us in tomorrow's vlog to see what we get up to. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we've had comments about this, by the way. Apparently it's really cringy. I find it cringy. What? I feel like you do it on purpose to make it cringy. You do realise it's like a 90s thing. It's nothing wrong with it being a 90s thing. It's Mike not a 90s. It. Like, Mike loves the 90s. I was a teenager in the 90s, so, you know. Stuck in his ways. Oh, yeah. Stuck in his ways, Piglet's having a right mare because I'm not cuddling her. So I better go. See you in tomorrow's vlog. Lots of love.